Hi gang, this is Robin. I am a member and president and founder of the MJ Army number 0829195806252009. I am member Robin 01161968 uh 20-xx that's my whole number. <laughs> when you join uh, uh, my Facebook group, your birth date is basically your ID number. But that's another story for another day. I'm here to talk about, very briefly, uh, uh, the comments that I made on the page about um, the, the fans against the Michael Jackson tribute. And I'm going to keep it brief. I'm going to do my best to keep it brief. Here's why I made that statement. The thing of it is, is that as far as the tribute goes, it really doesn't affect me either way, okay? Um, I can live with it. I can live without it. I personally, I'm the type of person who, when it comes to Michael's music, I only like hearing Michael sing it. I I think it's nice that there are singers who want to sing his songs, but to me, nobody can do it justice like the man himself. So that's why I personally can't get into the tribute, because sadly, the one person who I want to sing those songs isn't here. So that's why I'm not into it. Now, you guys aren't into it for a variety of reasons. Some of you think it's financial or you think it has to do with the family or whatever. Whatever your reasons are, those are your reasons. But the whole thing that was making me annoyed about this whole thing is the fact that when you really stop and think about it, what is it to you, okay? The tribute, it's going to happen whether you like it or not. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. If it does happen, it happens. Either way, it's not going to affect your life per se. It's not going to affect you at all. Uh, 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 you can either sit down and watch it and enjoy it, or you could just turn off the TV when it comes on. It doesn't matter. Either way, it's up to you whether or not you want to look at the tribute or not. But the thing that's been really getting to me is that of late, it just seems like every time I turn around, every time I get a message from someone in Facebook or even on Twitter, but mainly on Facebook with the different Facebook groups, there always seems to be something negative. It's all, I'm always reading fans against this, fans against that, fans against the other, fans who hate this, fans who don't like that, blah, blah, blah. And after a while, it just gets to be really tiring. You know, some of the stuff I don't even read anymore because I could just feel this big sense of negativity just oozing out of it. And I just don't even want to be bothered. So... Lately, I've been starting to wonder, what about the fans? What's going on with them, especially now that it has been two years since Michael's demise? And I do have to wonder, are some of these fans, are they genuine, or is this some newfound fanaticism? You know, there were some fans who really weren't into Michael until after he passed away, and now they're trying to do anything and everything they can to make up towards that. I mean, hey, if that's what happened, then hey, so be it, whatever floats your boat. But sometimes you really have to stop and look about where your priorities are and what do certain aspects of Michael's life have to do with you. With taking, for instance, his finances. Michael's finances was jacked up. There were times when even he couldn't understand what he was going through, and it was his life. 
yes, he had issues with Sony, and yes, he asked the fans to, 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 to boycott them and all that kind of stuff. And if you want to, fine. If you don't want to, fine. But there were some fans who were getting so, so bogged down into the thought of trying to solve his financial problems when you got to stop and ask yourself, what about your financial problems? Michael had millions upon millions upon millions of dollars and stocks and assets and the Sony catalog and God knows what else he had. Sometimes he had a difficult time figuring out his stuff himself. So how do you think you can do any better? <laughs> it's it's something to really think about. And then on and then another thing that I wonder about is with some of the fans, some of the fans keep going on and on and on about his kids. You know, sorry, but I love doing this. I love being melodramatic this way. But I keep hearing fans say stuff like, Oh, we have to take and we have to protect his children because the Sony is stealing from his children. And 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 Jermaine and, and the other brothers and sisters, they're stealing from his children. His children need to be protected. Those kids are fine, okay? Let me tell you something right now. Those kids can take every single child at their school, all their classmates, every single classmate in the building, teachers and faculty alike. They can take those kids and those adults out to McDonald's for a day and buy each of them a Happy Meal or a Big Mac number one value, extra value meal for the adults and even supersize it. And you know what? It's not going to make a dent. Those kids got money hand over fist. They're going to be okay. They're going to be all right. And when they get older and they have, and they pursue their own goals and dreams, you know in your heart they're going to be successful, so then they're going to have their own money on top of it. Those kids are financially set. They're going to be okay. And then on top of it, then you got the, these people worried about their emotional uh, 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 well-being. Now, granted, yes, I'm quite sure, I know in my heart that those kids at some point they do break down. They do cry. They do have their moments when they miss their father deeply. I know they do because he was their parent. He was the only parent that they knew. But when I see them, when I see them on TV and at certain events and stuff, they look like they're doing wonderful. They're fine. They're happy. They're healthy. They're, they're moving on with their lives. And their dad is so proud of them. So that other point about the fans having to protect his kids, that's another point that's moot. I can truly understand the fans wanted to do anything and everything that they could to be there for the kids and be there for their well-being. But there's only so much that everybody can do. And then you also got to look at it like this. Some of you guys are so into trying to fix all the things that were broken in Michael's life, some things that are never going to be fixable. What about your own lives? What's going on with you guys? What are you all doing? Some of you guys are worried so much about Michael's financial woes and the whole bit with Sony and stuff. What about your own financial business? You know, the economy still isn't back to normal. The president is doing everything that he can to try and make it better, but it's hard. It's extremely hard. I can't see anybody fixing this mess right away. So what are you guys doing in your own personal lives when you're worried about Michael's financial problems? What about your financial problems? And when you guys sit up there and you always talk about how you worry so much about his children, what about your own kids? Do any of you even notice what your kids are doing behind you? Do any of you stop and think about, you know, I need to take and set aside 
stuff that I've been doing for Michael and I gotta concentrate on what's going on with my family that's one of the reasons why for me why I haven't been doing so much with my YouTube page like I used to the last Michael's moments that I made I think was in February of this year and as of this video it's now August I had to stop because I needed to take care of some stuff that was going on in my own personal life so if you guys watch this video and you hear what I'm saying and you really stop and think about it you know that's great I hope this video has made some kind of impact I hope that it's had some kind of effect because truth be told I do love Michael's fans Michael's fans are some of the most loyal most devoted people that you will ever meet but there is a time and there is a place for everything and sometimes when I'm on my computer I do see certain names over and over and over again and I do have to wonder gee what else is this person doing in his or her life that is not Michael related and why is it every time I see something that has to do with this person talking about Michael life why is it always negative how come I never see anything that uh, um, is remotely positive in any way shape fashion or form that doesn't have to do with Michael you know wouldn't it be nice to open up a message from a Facebooker and go into a group and read I planted a tree today in the park or I did some volunteer work at a children's hospital or I did some volunteer reading for some school kids at the public library or I was a buddy or pal for a day at a senior citizens uh, old age home that's the kind of stuff that I like. That's the kind of stuff that I get joy out of. Continuously reading things like, I hate this person because this person said such and such and so and so and so and so and so about Michael. I hate that person because he said so and 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 so about Michael. You know, after a while, it's like, oh, God, you know what? You don't have any control over it. People are going to say what they're going to say, and people are going to do what they want to do, whether you are a fan or not. And you have to stop and realize just what is your place in this world that Michael had created. Are you really a fan, or are you a fanatic? Can you step out of the world that is Michael and look at something else for a change and do something different? and be about something positive or do you still want to be sitting in the muck and in the mire and in the rumor and in the innuendo that was his previous life because wherever Michael is now I'm quite sure he's happy and he is so far removed from all this material gunk that we have running around in the earth well that's all I wanted to say I said my piece Anybody don't like it, hey, be like a plate of mashed potatoes and lump it. That's all I can say. I thank you guys for watching this video, and for what it's worth, peace.